Hey guys, today we are making a cream of mushroom soup. So we will find out if this is a pin win or a don't pin. Hey guys, okay, so I kind of forgot to go over um, the items that you're going to need. You'll need some thyme, mushroom seasoning. This is optional. I just happen to own it, so I'm going to use this. Uh, some heavy whipping cream, half and half, or even milk will work. Um, we're going big or going home. This is going. This is a very uh, decadent recipe, and I've made it before in the past, and I just found a pin, so I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to try it. So I'm going to halfway go off the pan. I believe I'm following it pretty close, but I'm also following it to memory of another mushroom soup that I used to make. So it's kind of like a half and half recipe, but I'll still link the pin down below where I'm kind of guiding myself. Um, an onion or two, some uh, vegetable cooking stock, butter, garlic, um, and then of course the mushrooms that are being cleaned off right now. So. I will get to chop in this onion quick and we will see how it goes. So now we're going to take these onions and go put them in our saucepan. So as you can see I got butter in there already melting and I added a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, I don't know, I always just kind of do butter and vegetable oil. So now I'm adding my onions to the melted butter. And I think it's going to be one delicious soup. Yeah, soup. Yeah, I did too. So let's add this entire, I just did one whole onion. So we're going to add that into there and let it kind of saute. While we um, go and chop up the mushrooms. So now I'm just going to take my baby Bellas and my white buttons. That's my name, Bellas, baby Bellas. And I'm just going to chop them up. I love these, um, what are these? Mushrooms? I love the, be the baby Bellas because that's my name, Bella. Yeah. Baby Bellas. I only buy them because they have your name in them. So as you just noticed, I made a huge mess with my <laughs> mushrooms, but that's completely okay. I just don't have a big enough working space for two things of mushrooms. But I'm gonna go and add these to my pot and they are going to seriously just bake down big time. Um, and I also don't like my uh, mushrooms cut perfectly. I kinda like just a rough chop on them, so some of them are gonna be super tiny and some of them are gonna be really big, and that's exactly what I want. Okay, so our onions are in here, and as you can see, they are cooking up very nicely. They look like a and it looks like they're working really well. Yeah, they're doing really good in there. So now let's add some mushrooms to this mix. I don't know how you'd pick it up. Two, three, these ones are a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to scrape them off my Death board. cutting board, yeah. Then we're just going to stir it up. Yep. I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't know. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Who can I do it? And a little bit of thyme and some garlic. How about I just get them for you? So I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt. Uh, you can always add more after. And let's add about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Can I pour the thyme? And then some thyme. Can I do it? And we're going to do about a tablespoon of thyme. So I'm just tapping the thyme to get it out. That's good for now. And then we're going to add about 
however much I have left in here. I would say that's about two tablespoons, maybe not even. Mm. Of garlic. Good. So there's what we got going on there. And I just tasted that time and it's so good guys. Oh. Okay. And so now we're just going to kind of let the mushrooms cook down and release all their juices. So here we go. I'm just going to let it continue to cook down and I will be back in a second with a little update for us. Here's what it looks like. See how it's starting to kind of release its juice? Oh, yeah. It's going to continue to do that, and we're going to have a whole bunch of juice in there, and then it's all going to evaporate evaporate out. I almost couldn't talk there for a second, but it is smelling delicious. So let's let it keep on cooking, and we'll be back in a few minutes. So as my mushrooms are cooking, I went and got a little bread bowl, but I'm not going to use it as a bread bowl, I decided, because there's no way I'll be able to eat the entire bread bowl. So I'm just going to chop it up and make it into like garlicky croutons. So I'm just going to slice it. Okay, so I purposely made them really big pieces so that we can dip them in our soup. But I'm going to mix some butter and some of this bread dipping stuff. I don't know, I don't have anything else that I can use for it, but I think this will work out. So I melted this butter with, like, as a double boiler. I just put this on top of one of my pots with water underneath of it and use that to melt it. I kind of like melting it that way better rather than in the microwave. I feel like I can tr control the melt, you know what I mean? And I don't know how much of this I'm going to add. Maybe like that much. Is that too much? So now I'm just going to mix this bread. See like this bread with the butter and put it on a pan. I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour to this and make a roux. And then we're going to let the flour um, just kind of cook out. So let me move my mushroom and onion mix over to the side here. And let's add in our butter. So three tablespoons of butter go in. And we're going to let that kind of melt down. And then to that, we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. So here comes one, two, and three. Let's mix this up. Can I turn this so you can see better? A little bit. So you can use a whisk to make this. I'm just going to use my wooden spoon. You can see. So you get all this butter and flour combined. So once you get this kind of all mixed together, We're going to let that flour kind of cook out and then just kind of mix it all together and now we're going to start adding our broth. Okay, so this is pretty much all boiled and combined. So now I am going to add my heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna add half of this container. So about eight ounces is all you're gonna need. 
But of course, add more, add less, add milk, add half and half. Add half and half? Yep, that's like half cream, half milk. And there you have it. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Cream of mushroom soup. Now this isn't cream um, like what you're gonna get in your can, like a Campbell's cream oh, of mushroom. On your pancakes, have you ever had it? But you want it to be thick enough where it does still somewhat. Oh, I just burned myself. Okay. Yeah, sorry about swearing. Bleep that out. Okay. Um, you can't even tell. But yeah, so I actually wouldn't even mind if it was a little bit thicker, uh, but I'm liking this consistency. This is going to be a delicious soup. Uh, another option that you have that I've read, I don't know if it's in the pin that I'm pinning below, you can uh, blend this together and, you know, make it just creamy and, yeah, the mushrooms will be all blended out. I'm going to let this continue to cook. I don't want to bring it to a boil. I just want it to just continue to slightly thicken up a little bit while my bread is in the oven. All right, guys. Bella is going to do a taste test for us, and we'll find out if she likes it. I'm so excited. Yeah. Her hair is wet. She just got out of the bathtub. Go <laughs> ahead. It's okay. Go ahead and take a bite. Tell us your true thoughts. Be honest with us, because we don't want to make something that's nasty. That fruit fly, dang it. We have like eight fruit flies now, and they're driving me bonkers. Oh, you like it. Okay, tell I, us. I don't like it. Oh. I love it. Is it awesome? Okay, guys. This is a good one. Oh, and I was saying that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just gave her a teeny tiny bowl for her taste test. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This was another pin win, but I kind of knew it was going to be because I had already made it in the past. And the pin win is a pin. Yes, that was delicious. I would like have this every day for breakfast. Really? Even hey, for lunch. Do you want to take this in your lunchbox tomorrow? <gasps> do you want to? Oh, that's an easy lunch for me. That's a double win for me. Yay! All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell down below. <laughs> <laughs> it's what everyone's saying. But don't forget to give it a big soup sup. A big soup up, guys. <laughs> See ya. Bye.